Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Art in Conversation with Farin. It's a beautiful day here. And we are here today with our Artist of the Month, um, Nancy. Uh, Nancy Siduni, if I pronounce your last name correctly, please, you can correct me. Okay. Um, she's One minute. Very my name, but, excuse me. My name is Nancy Lee. Na Sorry. Nancy Lee. Oh, apologies. Nancy Lee. It's my grandmother's uh, name. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, Nancy, Lee, my grandma. No, oh, please. It's just, just grandmothers, Nancy and Lee. All right. My mother. Nancy. <laughs> So she's here with us to talk about her work and her artwork and um, who she is. Nancy, we are so glad that you are here with us. Would you please uh, introduce uh, yourself to us and tell us who you are and what you're doing and how you became an artist? Oh, oh my goodness. Well, good morning. It's great to be here. Um, my name is Nancy Lisa Doni. And um, yeah, it's, um, it's been a, a wonderful uh, few months and I've been working uh, on painting, uh, acrylic paintings these days and working on a, a clay, some clay, two clay sculptures, uh, very, uh, very lovely small mini pieces of in clay uh, and um and working a little bit on my uh, steel piece uh laying um silver and gold uh leaves on it how you became an artist nancy lee would you tell oh. us from the beginning and um yeah. <laughs> how you found out that you are interested in art Mm. Well, and when you start to make art and create art. Uh, when I was a baby, when I was about four years old, mm -hmm. we, uh, my mother um, would, gave me chalk uh, to go in front of the house. Uh, we had nothing much. <laughs> so she gave me some chalks. Uh, let me back up to work on a blackboard. I had a little, little blackboard and I would draw uh, with the white chalk and I would erase it. I remember with my hand, but then uh, my mother gave me a little cloth and I was about four years old and I would make drawings of uh, uh, dinosaurs. <laughs> I think I saw a dinosaur somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so what art do you most identify with? Uh, oh. Uh, as a, my own art or art in the, in the world? No, no, as your art. Oh, my art. You uh, as an artist, um, I know you yes. are a multidisciplinary artist and I saw your website that you have quite different art, um, art form, but which of these are you? Which of this form of art you identify? Hmm. You, mean you do printmaking, you do watercolor, you do a sculpture, you do um, oil, and you do photography, pretty much everything. But which of these you're more known? Drawing. Oh, uh, that's a hard question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I identify with. Um, uh, I think, well, I guess my a sculpture and painting, mm -hmm. yeah, it's hard to, because that's what I'm working on now, but all I've right. always identified all my life as a sculptor, mm -hmm. sculptures. So sculptures. What, type of, what type of a sculpture you do? I mean, uh, so I see a few of them here in this portfolio. Yeah, there are a few. So we just, gonna talk like this. Um, yes. So would you explain from the first one, which is you can see that's you next to- uh, Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, that is the beginning of, uh, of uh, a sculpture. 
that I started and it, it's, uh, it's of a lovely girl. Her name is Siani. Uh, in fact, and I started, I was lucky enough to have this model. And I started, uh, it was very challenging. Uh, but because I didn't have a big background in making, you know, heads, uh, portraits of people, which I love to do portraits of people. And uh, because I love drawings of people, I, I have many, many portraits of drawings, studies of women and that I'm working on in black and white, charcoal. She's and like, so this is uh, one of them here is in your portfolio, right? This yes, this is a terracotta clay. And uh, she is a real live model. Uh, and and I, I love the process, the way it feels and the challenge of learning how to, you know, do it. It's kind of like a self-taught at mm -hmm. this point because I really didn't have any uh, much instruction on how to do this. Uh, yeah. And the instructor was a great friend of mine, but he really wasn't a great teacher, put it that way. And he would come over now and then to look at it. Oh, good. Very good. <laughs> I never got really, uh, you know, like a feedback on form, shadow, light, uh, elements of sculptural design and what I'm doing wrong. And, and <laughs> so I, it was very challenging. And, and it was a good way to learn. Yeah. How about this, this, or this bronze sculpture? Oh, uh, that is, oh, that's a steel. A steel, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, yeah. That's a steel, uh, it's a steel lovely made of um, not only steel, I used a torch to cut, to cut it. It's mostly cut out and it's cut out steel. And there's a one, two, but two layers. Uh, yeah, I had bent the, the layers in position, banged them out when it was hot, heated steel and I welded them in position. Uh, but before that, I did grind it down. Grind okay. it down with the grinder, a power tool. I have a little light power tool to shine it all off in places that I want. Some places I kept uh, darker, which I love, the combination of light and dark. And then I would let it stay outside I'd let this particular piece stay, stay outside in the yard for a few, a few months to naturally patina. Then I brought it back in to the studio. I have one of my studios and I would begin grinding it again and cleaning it up and seeing where I wanted my rust spots. And, and I decided to try material, a steel and gold, a steel, excuse me, uh, silver, pure silver, real silver, I got, and gold, uh, real gold, 14 karat gold. Uh, and there are a few silver leaves, but it's mostly real, pure silver and a little bit of silver leaves. I wanted to try that, see how that worked, because I'd like the color was a little deeper. And I used the, the gold is the same color gold. There were several colors that I bought, but I used this particular color. I uh, sized is there, any, is there any concept behind this piece? Is there any meaning to that? Are you following any concept? Or yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the concept, it's, to me, it's, it's most, it's about nature. Uh, yeah, it's about uh, the, the awakening, uh, for this one, it was like the awakening of, of spring and uh, how I was working outside. Was, oh my God, this is, this is spring. Spring just came when I was, I was just, this is about spring. I was outside and I heard the birds chirping and I saw the beautiful trees around, which I was I'm always inspired by nature. Through nature, I worked through nature. The connection is always yes. very deep. And I said, oh, this is my 
This is beautiful. This is the awakening of spring. And uh, and that was the inspiration source. I think God. you have um, quite a um, few pieces on the steel. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. This, uh, are, um, this is another piece. How, oh. how large are um, these pieces? What's the uh, that, Okay, I'm trying to see what that, if you can, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, that is... Uh, what is the name of that? Uh, okay, this piece, I can't see the full piece. Right? Oh, yeah. I just called it Layers of Steel. Um, that is about... I'm looking for it here on my... One moment. I think it's about 10... That one is about... And how long um, it takes? How um, five, long is this piece yes i'm trying to take it a measurement uh it's if you i'm looking for my specs on this it's about uh it's high it's the height is about um five foot five foot um eight inches mm -hmm. uh, the length is about because it's bent um, okay. It's meant in an arch, a little bit of an arch. It's about nine feet, roughly speaking, and it's layered. That's it. And it's about the jab. The jab how deep is it? About uh, 12 inches a foot because it's welded off. Uh, the layering is, you know, connects some points when I uh, weld it, spot weld it. Mm hmm. Yeah, and then um, I see you have um, quite um, a series of that. I mean, uh, when I, when I yes, watched, yes, I, I love love them. Mm -hmm. the website, which is this doesn't collaborate yeah. with me. Um, My yeah, favorite. If anyone interested to see some of her steel work, she has quite a series of her um, steel. Yes. Series here, which is, um, is this something you currently work? I uh, still, yes, I'm working with the, the steel leaves. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And how long it takes for you to, from start to finish, approximately? Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, if it's um, the, the big pieces, uh, the small pieces that I'm working on, uh, it's they're about uh, four feet it take me it will take me to, to the building oh, uh, oh I don't, several months of consistent work of uh working several times a week five hours uh, my goodness hundreds of hours yeah i mean uh, it's, but, it's quite I'm sure you, are you working outside or inside your studio or There's something? Still, uh, outside. Outside, okay. So, but probably in the winter time, um, you're gonna stop making steel sculpture. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I could grind it outside. I do have a studio for metal, uh, outside, a warm studio just for sculpture. And I can grind them down there. I can grind them in the studio and I could prepare them in the because it's a warm studio. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's warm enough. Okay. And what is this? Is this a painting? Uh, real. Oh, oh that yeah, it's not finished. In fact, I'm working on that. It, okay, yeah, so it's <laughs> it's it's what was and what is. Okay, uh many years ago I um I made a series of, I'm still doing it, I haven't been, a series of work. I like to work outside on the beach. And I was drawing with a, a wonderful French pastels, luminous. And I made a series of these and I said, one day I'm gonna blow one of them up or two of them up to a, a painting. And you know, they, were, they were a painting itself, but I decided I wanted to make a different, I wanted to paint an acrylic painting or an oil painting of this. My and so 
of these pieces. So uh, this is the one I started with and it's, I, I'm completing it right now. Uh, it's on my studio easel outside in the porch. It's called Fallen Star. It's uh, luminous and it comes from directly from the inspirational source of the drawing that I made that 10 years before. Mm -hmm. So I decided to work on them, to work on a series of maybe as many, I don't know, maybe eight of them, a series okay. put together of these pieces from the beach and also uh, show uh, the, the the early work. You know, a Is few this of them. also one of that piece? Together. Yes, that's one of the pieces as well. Okay. So all these are made based on drawing which you did in the beach a couple of years ago. Yes. Inspiring. So what was and now I call it what was years ago and what is now in my life going <laughs> through this year of COVID and uh, I'm trying to make them as um, he healing as possible. And Nancy, what inspired you to make art? since I was a baby, <laughs> since I was four years old. <laughs> I, uh, since I was, when I was play with my little blackboard drawing, my mother, I was allowed to go outside and make big pictures. And my, a friend of mine gave me colored chalks and I make beautiful pictures that a baby would make outside. And I said to my mother, Oh, please, no one ruin these. Do not step on my work. It was very protective. How, what will happen to them? And my mother said, well, honey, uh, the rain's going to wash them away. There's no way to take them upstairs. So I says, mommy, I, I want to save them. <laughs> I, I didn't have a little, I should have took a picture of it. <laughs> but no one gave me a Kodak camera. Uh, so I could blow it up, you know, keep it. Uh, one form of keeping it without being sad that I lost it. I said, I want to make more of this. One day, maybe I could do this when I get big. You so know, and do, what, the, um, do you have any, who are your biggest influence? Do you have any uh, particular artist or any particular, like, you know, thing that influenced you to make a piece of art? Uh, influences. Hmm. Uh, yes, uh, for my, for, uh, back in the, I mean, now, or when, back in the day, I loved, uh, I loved, uh, uh, the Japanese artist, his name is, um, he has a museum in Long Island City, uh, He's an amazing uh, artist. Um, uh, he, I can't think of his first name. <laughs> and how about now? I mean, it's now when you make a piece of artwork, right? Um, how you decide, like, for example, you see something and you say, oh, I have to put this, make this an art, into an art. How you decide what medium you want to do? Like if you want to make it a sculpture or painting or a steel, how do you decide when you're inspired or you see uh, something and you want to turn it into an art? Uh, yeah. Uh, when I see something, uh, like when, when I went to the museum to see the sculpture, or uh, I'll say, you know, I want to make, I do cut stone and I'm working on stuff carp stone uh, upstate with a, a great artist and I have a piece there that I'm working on. Uh, here's one of them. Uh, I don't know what other pieces you have. Oh, my angel told me so. And that I is uh, hands I off. This, this one, my angel told me so. I have. Oh, yes. Yeah, my angel told me so. That's, that was uh, inspired by... Uh, an Italian artist, uh, uh, who a French artist, excuse me, a Spanish artist in Spain, who made the cathedral in Spain, who made the, all the new sculptures in Spain. Uh, 
uh, of uh, all the saints. And he worked in a very modern way. So I saw that this, side, this lovely piece of limestone. And I said, gee, I would like to make my own angel. My angel told me so. I just feel that it was very angelic. So I was very inspired by uh, Sabrakis, his name was. I, I think it was a Greek artist who, were, who was working on it. I, I think he completed the project of about 20 sculptures of full-blown, uh, yeah, with Jesus Christ and all the saints. It's uh, the, the cathedral is an amazing cathedral in Spain. And it was, it was always on the, it's always being restored. I think it's called the family cathedral in English. And so, uh, yeah, that was inspiring me. <laughs> so I, and then there's an, and then I work, uh, yeah. This is another piece of your sculpture, which is, uh, what, what material is this? What type of uh, stone is this? Uh, hands off, uh, that's alabaster. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that is totally personal piece. It's influenced by me. Okay. I was, my body parts. All right. Like hands off me okay. in any way that's hurtful. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's a beautiful piece. I loved working on is, it. And this is one of the charcoal, which is you were uh, mentioned earlier. Right? No, no, no. That's an oil painting. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a it's an oil painting. It's full life size, and uh, her name it's Pamela. Her name is okay. the, the girl Pam. So, and uh, it's uh, oil, uh, and it's made of. Uh, I use black and white, but not just black and white from the tube. All the colors that make black and white through paint. Okay. Not black and white, but like red and green, and then I gray it out to find a gray that I like and, uh, and other complementary colors. And I, yeah, uh, yeah, that way. And it was a lot of fun exploring mm -hmm. that. And she was so beautiful to work with. And uh, what, what medium is this painting? It, which is- Oh, uh, I think. Cal it, that's an oil painting. That's oil, okay. So mostly California. you work with oil, Nancy, right? I work with oil uh, and acrylic. Oil and uh, acrylic. Uh, it seems that I'm starting to work more with acrylic, but I will go back to working with oil. That's an oil painting because I, I like oil. Oil is very different than acrylic. Yes, of course it is. It's and so, this, is, this is an oil. That's, that's oil. Yeah, it's true. It's oil. And uh, what is the concept of this? Is this uh, sun, sunrise, sunset, sea? Yeah, it, yeah, it's a sun, it's a sun, uh, it's a sunset, and it's a it's a sunset in Puerto Rico. I call it the Costa Rico sunset, but it's really Puerto Rico, which I visit. I'll be leaving for Puerto Rico for about six weeks, and I'll bring my pastel box and my camera. And I go, I'll sit daily and I, I paint. I'll paint, I'll do pastel paintings with, uh, I bought some beautiful Rembrandt, soft pastels and new pastels and different books to work. And I'll bring some watercolors and uh, pencils. And yeah, I'll be uh, working on the beach. Yeah, that's wonderful. And yeah, is this yeah. a point? Excuse me. Uh, is this a drawing? Because I yeah. think you also. Yeah. It's a drawing of my mother. All right. Uh, she's laying on the couch. She has a little bun. And uh, I, I like to make layer her like multiple mothers. I was working with these funny glasses, the prism glasses. I have a pair and, and it would like multiple the body. Okay. And I was inspired from those classes to make layers of my mother. And I always wanted to do a painting of that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, my mom. I think I'll definitely do it. 
my mother passed away from COVID this year. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, and she was my one of my main sources of uh, one of my models to have hundreds of pictures of her. All right. And uh, I'm gonna do a sculpture of her in clay. That's a wonderful idea to keep her memory. Mm. Oh yes. I and do what, what, medium, what medium is this one, uh, Nancy? Oh, printmaking. Uh, that is that's my only self-portrait, one of them. That I, uh, it's a lithograph. Okay. On stone, on All limestone. Right. Wow. So yeah. you always um, try different um, medium. What, what, what makes you to try different um, different medium from sculpture to painting to huh? um, all those. Why why you like to try all this different um, kind of medium? I know it, it's so much fun. Uh, it's just something that I need to do uh, to explore different mediums and nature in a different way using different materials. Uh, I'm inspired by the beauty of um, trees and nature and water. And I, and to me, one medium doesn't fulfill my expression to, to like, to learn, how to work with, it's just something within me like, oh, I, I have to make a painting of this or a sculpture of that. It's just, it seems to come to me. Uh, yeah, it's more, I think it's more spiritual. Yeah, definitely. I understand um, what you say. And there are a lot of artists, actually, they try. Why not, you know, to extend their artistic world and life and experiment different media. So that's a wonderful feeling. All right, we are almost at the end of our conversation, Nancy Lee. Do you have any final word for our guest? Today. Well, thank you very much for uh, for listening, and and it was my pleasure, a great pleasure, and I'm very uh, touched by being selected to show some of my work uh, to at Tanawa, which is a great place that that got me started showing my work uh, and uh, it's um it's but great to be here Nancy, we are doing our best to promote our artists and to keep them going and to inspire them and to inspire ourselves with exactly. seeing the great work your work are wonderful wonderful and um, we hope you continue making and doing more. This is um, a website of Nancy Lee. And if anyone like to keep in touch with her or see more of her artwork, um, they can visit her website and there are, um, um, they can reach out to her through her um, own website. Um, Nancy Lee, thank you very much for the opportunity and for your time and for your inspiration. Um, uh -huh. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.